welcome to this video in this video we are going to discuss about uh, LIC lab basics operational amplifier is basically a direct coupled high gain differential amplifier and to which a feedback is added to control its overall response characteristics and it is having a very high input impedance and low output impedance so pin out remember the pin numbers we can pause and see it inverting pin number 3 non inverting many students they interchange these two while writing in the exam plus vcc minus ee pin number 4 and this is symbol how we represent and output is given by a gain input difference vp minus vn and this is the ic how we write a pin numbers is in the ic and symbol also shown and device name of the company will be there and uh, packaging type and temperature it can withstand that information will be there and approximate a equivalent circuit of your pen which is used in most of the derivations you should remember this and voltage transfer curve ideally speaking when the input increases output should also increase but it is true up to certain extent because it will reach either plus V saturation or minus V saturation till that output increases when the input increases and uh, power supply is one of the most confusing for the students remember plus VCC we are connecting to the positive of the power supply and minus VE I am connecting to the negative of the another power supply not same and negative of this positive of this I will short and I will ground it most of the students they do wrong connection and IC will burn please see this remember this and then only you can conduct the experiment and the ideal op amp char characteristics input current is zero input offset is zero input impedance infinity output impedance zero and gain is infinity op amp golden rules one should remember gain is always infinity input resistance is also infinity and output resistance is zero and one should know the color code so that you can choose a particular resistance these are the important instructions to carry out a lab properly check the all the function generators CR or whatever you are using for the conduction of the lab experiment keep the asset knob at the minimum or off it even a separate video is uploaded in my channel if you don't know upset you will become upset in the lab exam and connect check all the single stands or patch cords and avoid insulation while using a single stand wires on spring boot sometimes on the insulation you may do the connection and connecting boards you check for the continuity and voltages you adjust properly plus volt minus 15 volt and scale should be mentioned without fail in the graph actually without scale you cannot write a in the graph but many students first they write a graph then they try to adjust the scale please remember first you take a scale then according to that you can write a waveforms keep the CRO in this whether you want AC mode or DC mode if you want to observe the clamping you can go for DC mode otherwise AC mode is enough one should know this CRO working AC and DC mode Check the connections before switching on the main supply. Don't simply switch on and don't try to see the directly the output. First check the connection is correct or not. Remember all grounds should be shorted. You should not have two separate grounds. If separate are there, just short that. Only one common ground should be there in your circuit. If supply goes while conducting the experiment or if staff member calls you, switch off the main. Then you can move. And when lab experiment is over, take a suggestion on the observation book without fail. Do not move the instruments from one table to the other table. So, way how we choose the R1 value. This IB maximum is 500 nano ampere from year 741. I get R1 equal to V1 by I. And uh, based on the V1, I choose a R1 value. Before going to the lab, go through the theory part. And you should know what you are going to do, why you are going to do, what you are supposed to observe, you should know before going to the lab.
Thank you. And these are the references. For more information, you can visit these links. Thank you. If you like this, please share this with your classmates and friends. Thank you.